I became a doctor because I loved the sciences and I wanted to help people in a significant way. I also wanted to provide a good future for my family. It's getting harder. Seems like there aren't enough hours in the day. I became a nurse and care manager to make a difference in my patients' lives, but their needs are growing and our resources are getting more limited. Competition, regulations, uh, declining reimbursements, there's a lot of things putting us under financial pressure. I'm not ready to give up on my dream or the freedom to practice the way I want. It's what I've worked so hard for. Making sure our patients get the best care, that's what matters most. But let's be real. I have to make sure it's cost effective so our practice can survive and grow. The shift to value-based care, regulations, increased risk, none of that's going away. But, I mean, of course, I want this practice to succeed. We can still put the patient at the center of care. There's a better way. To provide effective care, we need to make data-driven decisions. Fortunately, NextGen Population Health gives me big picture insights on all of our patients. Data from multiple EMRs, claims, social demographic factors based on zip code, the data I need right at my fingertips. I can see which patients are at higher risk and identify patients who are lost so we can follow up later. I can close the gaps in care for all our quality measures. Having population health integrated into every patient EHR chart means I always have the most pertinent insights as I walk into the exam room. Our quality measures scores have improved so much, they're critical to the success of our practice. Today, I'm able to see my charts and my schedule from anywhere, anytime. Vitals, lab results, notes from previous visits for all the patients I'll see today. Much easier, much faster. This is John. He's 56. He's in for a follow-up on his high blood pressure and pre-diabetes. Yeah, no offense, but I don't like going to the doctor. I just don't get sick that much. I mean, I'm in good shape. Okay, I could lose a little bit of weight, but I'm taking my meds, well, most of the time. My blood pressure is a little high, but things are stressful at work, so. Four new prescriptions in the last 12 months. His weight is up. Our analytics clearly show John's risk for atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease is increasing. His glucose levels and blood pressure are high. We have to talk with John about it before I aim to our pre-diabetes management program. That's perfect, I think that's a great idea. A patient's billing experience influences how they view our practice. So before John's visit, I've verified his benefits and have an estimate. Hi, John. Yeah, uh, based on your coverage, we estimate the cost for your visit is going to be $75. Transparency okay, makes it easier for our patients to plan and pay and makes it easier for us to collect. Seems John had a shoulder steroid injection at another facility a few weeks ago. That may explain his high sugars today. In the past, we'd ask them to fax over records, and it could take days or longer. Now I have access to these records whenever I need them. I don't need to wait for anyone to send them. My EHR is connected. It proactively gets the records for me before all my patient visits. Fast access to data on millions of patients and billions of encounters. That's what helps me provide better care. Before John came into his appointment today, our system sent out a nationwide query to find out about John's recent health events. I got a CCDA summary from every place he received care, and it's automatically compared with John's information in our EHR. Updates such as new medications, diagnoses, or whatever, quickly and easily go into his chart. Gaps in care, risk factors, whatever I need to know right here in every chart. No need to log into external systems. I'm prepared, ready to provide the best care I can. After the visit, I add diagnoses and charges and dictate my notes, and it's transcribed and entered into the EHR. My work for this visit is done. That means more quality time with each patient. For our practice to succeed, denial prevention is critical. 
So the charges from John's visit are automatically reviewed and validated. Software verifies everything is complete and accurate even before the claim goes out. That means fewer lost charges, faster payer processing, and fewer denials. And of course, they can't all be avoided, but we've got a trusted partner with a team of billing experts who use analytics to help determine the causes, helping us avoid similar denials in the future. My last patient of the day, Emily is 72. She's recovering from a hip fracture and is still homebound. I've set up a virtual visit with her to see how she's getting along. Hi, Emily. Hello, doctor. <laughs> how you feeling today? Can you hear me okay? Technology that helps me provide better care. A partnership with experts who understand our business and our challenges. And solutions to help me reach more at-risk patients, close gaps in care, and improve outcomes. That's better health care that affords me more quality time with my patients and my family. Hey, Dad. No shoot to move? Sure. Let's go. Let's see what I can do. Why not? I've got the time. <laughs> 